if you would like to adjust the value of a feature, so the surface, there are two ways. You can click the object, double click revolve, and it opens the dialog for the tool that created that surface. And now, for example, I can adjust this. A different way is to go to Windows, Information, History, and where is my history? Oh, it's somewhere down there. There. And if I click it, I get the dialog. Now to delete the feature, meaning to remove it, we have to click undo. This actually removes the surface generation. If with this feature selected, so you see I can click on the text or the icon. On the icon it opens a dialog. If I click on the text it selects the feature. If I click delete, okay, then actually it's not removing the revolve surface but actually baking the function into a surface which for example I can go ahead and for example continue sculpt and if for example I undo this one and for example create the surface again okay click this object if for example now I select this vertex and say move, you will see that alias complains because I would actually break this interactive tool because I'm moving a vertex. So if I click no, then nothing happens. If I click yes, you also see the command actually was applied and not really removed. So you have to be careful about deleting those um, commands so that actually not by accident you're baking your features into your design.